Mike Bot here. Welcome to the first video in the 3D printing resin series. I would like to start by saying that this video is not sponsored. Everything has been purchased out of pocket, and this is unscripted raw reaction and information. This is the first video in the series and will be an unboxing on the AnyCubic Wash and Cure Station 3.0 Plus and the new AnyCubic M5S Pro. As you can see here, I am starting the video by unboxing various resins from AnyCubic as well as the screen protector pack. I have read that the screen protector needs to be replaced frequently with this new printer. So I purchased a 5-pack. I also purchased a wide variety of accessories which I will show in another video. The first unboxing we have here is the Woz & Cure Station 3.0 Plus. This can be purchased on sale for $225 Canadian. This version of the Wash & Cure has a size increase of 13.4% which equates to 7.6 litres more for a total of 12 litres. This is specifically designed for the M5 series printers, which boast a 10.6 screen. The curing size has increased by 42% as well. They have also updated the gooseneck light with increased energy values and irradiation range. The curing station also has a new arrangement for its lamps, which increases curing uniformity by 20%. The station also now has a dual layer platform designed for IPA savings. This, this dual layer platform maximizes the IPA usage efficiency. The last change is that it's a lot quieter with reduced noise levels. I have not used previous models, so I am not sure how much different the noise level is. I can tell you though that it is whisper quiet from the times I've used it so far. As you can see with the unboxing, they provide everything, large bin, dual basket, USB neck light, and two level curing trays. Using this is as easy as clicking power on, setting up either the wash bin with IPA or water depending on your resin, or setting the curing trays, then selecting either wash or cure setting, setting the amount of time and clicking start. Now for the moment you have been waiting for the M5's Pro unboxing. This video is specifically on the M5's Pro, so I won't be doing any comparisons and only talking about the M5's Pro. The M5's Pro is the latest and greatest resin 3D printer on the market. I was debating on ordering it for a while and decided to go for it and I know own one. I got this during the pre-order window and only paid $450 USD. I went with the M5's Pro because it has some neat first ever features that made me really want to take the leap into the resin 3D printing world. I have been printing with FDM 3D printing for many years, so this stuff is not new to me, but it's new to the 3D printing resin world. The M5's Pro mentions that it is the first auto leveling resin 3D printer, high speed resin printing at 105 mm wood H. It has smart monitoring, built-in self-checks, resin detection. This function already saved me a few times. Intelligent release, resin residue detection, a heater and air purifier, smart app, large printing volume, and most importantly, the first 14K resolution, resin printer. It can achieve the 14K resolution with an upgraded screen versus the M5s. The high-speed printing is achieved with a combination of things, but most importantly, the third-generation ACF film included in the VAT. Like all 3D printers, there are consumable parts. For this resin 3D printer, one the consumables is that ACF film, which is very expensive. Other consumables also include the VAT, the 14K LCD, the screen protector, the bed, and the air purifier filter. All these are consumables which need to be replaced at some point. The LCD claims 2,000 hour lifespan, which is not a lot for something that's $200, $250, and quite a bit of work to replace. In the box, you get quite a bit of things, including some starter things like gloves and filters for the resin. You get one screen protector, which you need to apply yourself, and one charcoal filter only. I will make a second video soon 
with some of the consumables that you should keep on hand. You also get some Allen keys, a plastic scraper, and a metal scraper. Make sure to keep lots of gloves, masks, protective glasses, and disposable towels on hand. You will go through them very quick. And resin will cause chemical burns on your skin and your eyes. I learned the hard way. Remember to always use protective gloves and eyewear. For the initial setup, place the heater in the corner, remove the sticker to secure it. Make sure you install the charcoal filter and remove the plastic around it. Next, place the screen protector on the screen. To do this, wipe down the screen with the alcohol wipes, use the microfiber cloth to dry it, and then the sticker to remove debris pieces. Once that's done, remove the backing of the screen protector and slowly apply it on the LCD. Use the plastic scraper to gently remove bubbles. Now remove the top film on the screen protectors. Plug the heater and printer and turn the printer on. Take the vat, remove any stickers, and place it on the LCD gently. Screw it in with the two thumb screws. Go to settings and select exposure 20 seconds start the process. Turn the heater on. Press the first button, then the second. Use the fourth button to turn it up to 35 degrees Celsius. Fill the VT with resin. Do not overfill it or it will overflow. I learned the hard way. If you spill resin, make sure to use IPA to clean it up. Place the yellow cover on top. Connect your printer to Wi-Fi at this point if you like. Refer to the manual to connect Wi-Fi. Next, on the screen, select the test print based on whichever version of resin you're using. Start the print. Once the print is done, remove the bed. Spray ISO on the bed. Do this away from the resin vat. Slowly and gently scrape away the print off the bed. At this point, you can remove the supports any way you like to wash the print first and remove the prints after. Fill the wash and cure bucket with ISO. I used two liters and barely filled the bottom of it. It could have used another liter easily. Put the print inside and cover the lid. Turn the station on, select wash, set the time and click start. Once the washing is done, remove your print. But the bucket aside, you can move the ISO into another bucket as it is not recommended to keep it in the wash and cure station bucket. Dry the print off the best you can or let it air dry for a minute. Remove the supports. Next, set the cure trays on the station. Place the print, put the yellow cover on. Turn the station on, select cure, set the time, and click start. Once it is done, remove it, and that's it. So there you have it. That's it for the unboxing of the Wash and Cure Station 3.0, the Anycubic M5S Pro, some resin, and the screen protectors. I also included the initial setup and the first test print. Stay tuned for more videos coming soon, including the consumable parts video releasing the first week of March. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button. Also, check out my Patreon for some really cool behind the scenes footage as well as some custom video requests that you choose, my 3D models and much much more. I also did something unique for this video and I did an AI voice narrator as you probably noticed. So if you enjoyed that, let me know in the comments section. Thank you all again for watching this, I hope everyone is able to make their decision or choice on if they want this printer or not. But that's it for now. So stay tuned for more videos. Mike Bot out. Thank you for watching Mike Bot Entertainment.